I'm going to now put together a small film for you which uh, records the behavior of the sediment geometry in response to sea level. First of all, we're going to assume a basin shape at the initiation of this model, which I'm going to build. Uh, here's the shelf, and now we're putting in the slope, bringing it round into the basin. This is the basin floor here. And uh, I'm going to also assume for this time period that um, there's constant sedimentation across this shelf. I'm going to assume a constant subsidence for the shelf margin and basin. All right, there's the constant subsidence. And I'm going to be varying uh, eustatic sea level at this time. So I'm going to be varying sea level up and down in response to change in base level. And I'll draw the sea level, the actual path of the sea level, as a sinusoidal curve. So. This is the, the path of the sea level curve that we're going to follow. This is high sea level, and this is low sea level. And time is going in this direction. Um, for this model, I'm going to be tracking then and producing the following uh, sedimentary systems. A low stand system track produced by the sedimentary response to a fall in sea level in here, a low stand system track uh, produced at the actual low position of the sea level, so you've got the falling sea level with a low stand, and then the low stand uh, shown here, and then we're going to have a transgressive system track produced by the sea level rising rapidly here. And then finally, we'll look, examine the high stand system tract. The high stand system tract and the low stand system tract and the transgressive system tract are encompassed by sequence boundaries. The first sequence boundary then is formed when sea level drops below the shelf margin, as we see here, and starts to erode it. So, let's have a look at this response. So, what we're saying is then, uh, falling sea level in the early phase. So, at this time, sea level is falling at its most rapidly, and it's falling faster than the subsidence. So, we're looking at this sort of envelope in here, the falling sea level, and this is the beginning of a low stand system track, okay, uh, LST, and um, at this time we expect erosion to be taking place on the shelf, uh, in a shelf here. This erosion is related to the fact that there's fluvial incision of the shelf. This fluvial incision of the shelf and erosion of the shelf produces an unconformable relationship. In other words, the surface is being eroded here uh, in response to this change in base level related, and this change in base level is, being, is actually related to a sea level fall. At the same time as fluvial incision takes place, sedimentation is going to be focused where sea level and the shelf margin intersect, and so we'll see sediments build, building out here, a lot of them in fact, but they don't stay here very long because the surface is actually unstable. Okay, so we're getting a, a type of forced regression. The fall in sea level, which we've seen, is actually causing erosion of the shelf margin, at the production of the sediment which is focused here, and then through its instability because of the, the, the nature of the slope and the, there's so much sediment coming in, that the sediment now bypasses the shelf 
and is transported by slumping and turbidite movement out into the basin to form basin floor fans. So you've got instability of the sediment focused on the shelf margin um, being transported out as a basin floor fan. So this is a basin floor fan. Alright, now this basin floor fan then is the product of, of this, uh, the first phase four of uh, the fall of the sea level, the erosion generated by the fall, by the fact that sea level has fallen below the shelf margin as I show you here. We've got incision and actually this incision, what's happening is at the same time rivers, again, rivers up on the shelf will tend to be uh, combining and uh, joining together as individual units um, related to this low stand event. Now, having the sea level having fallen, um, we, uh, we will get <coughs> sediment now being in, is coming in at a less rapid rate and the, because the accommodation is being lost, okay, the, the sea level fall is not now quite as rapid and the accommodation space is now being reduced because the rate of fall is not as rapid because uh, you see it's curving around like this and now substance is, is tending to, to control the, the space available. When this happens, uh, slope fan uh, planiforms downlap and uh, um, onlap. So we see this, the development of sediment building out across this slope uh, in, the, in the following way downlapping and onlapping in this way here. Um, in response to a slowing in the fall of sea level. All right, because there's less accommodation and the, the sea level now is, is dropping down to some sort of position like this. Then we see the, de the beginning of the development of a low stand wedge, which is in fact prograding, in other words, building out seawards in this direction here and onlapping up the shelf here. Uh, as it, so it's onlapping and downlapping. And as we saw the onlapping and downlapping of these fans, the slope fans. Here we have a slope fan. And now we have here building up a wedge, a low stand wedge of sediment. And as, this, as it builds up, so the sediments in a grade upwards. The character of this aggradation is probably the position of the aggradation is controlled probably by the base level of sea level and that as sea level now begins to cut, turn around on this curve here you will see it starts to rise again and when this happens the aggradation, the aggrading sediments which were uh, start to thicken upwards. So these are becoming thicker. These beds, I've shown them pretty well uniform in thickness, but in fact you'll see that they become, they're becoming thicker upwards. So this is the low stand system tract. And the, the margin, the basal margin of the low stand system tract is represented by an unconformable relationship or, uh, which is created when sea level falls below the shelf margin and erodes it. And then the upper surface of this uh, low stand system tract will be marked by, the, the, by evidence of transgression. The transgressive system tract then 